Hello, and welcome to the seventh installment in the Get Yourself Published, Promote Your Research webinar series from the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications Committee of the George Washington University and supported by the Clinical and Translational Science Institute at Children's National Hospital, the School of Medicine and Health Sciences, the Milken Institute School of Public Health, and the School of Nursing. Today we will be talking about citation organization for beginners. My name is Paul Levette and I am a reference librarian at the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. The objectives of this webinar are to compare the features of select bibliographic management tools and introduce some of the things to consider when deciding which tool to use. Before we begin, it is worth mentioning that if you just want a quick citation, you can go to the Himmelfarb Library website and in the search box, do your search. All of our catalogue records have a citation you can copy and paste. Many databases like PubMed have a citation feature. Some catalogue sites like WorldCat have a citation feature that's more limited. Or you can Google Citation Machine and generate one online. For students, the citation style you should use is typically specified in your course syllabus. For authors, you should check your journal's Advice for Authors webpage to see what house style the editors expect you to use. Three reasons to use a bibliographic tool are to conveniently save citations as you search all in one place, online or on your desktop or laptop for later screening, save time when writing a manuscript, or when you need to quickly reformat your citations to a different style. For example, if you are submitting to more than one journal, you can reformat your paper. Common steps when organizing, cite Common steps when organizing citations are to search databases to identify candidate citations. Export them to a bibliographic tool. Organize into folders. Deduplicate citations you find in more than one database search. Screen citations by reading the title and abstract. Save the full text PDFs of pre-screened citations for later reading. And downloading authoring tools to use with Microsoft Word or Google Docs when writing your manuscript. To insert citations in text, and generate the bibliography formatted in the citation output style you need. There are several bibliographic tools. Each does some things better than others. RefWorks is available for all GW students, faculty and staff. Citations are stored on cloud servers and there are plugins that work with Microsoft Word and Google Docs. EndNote is more complicated. The full licensed EndNote X9 desktop software is only available to GW faculty and staff in the schools of medicine and public health. If you use it, you will only save your citations locally to one computer. You cannot access your citations online, although you can share your EndNote libraries. EndNote Online is a cut-down free version that GW students can use via the library subscription to the Web of Science database, but it lacks features. If you are doing a systematic review, especially with others, Covidence can help when screening the citations and extracting data. Because Covidence does not have bibliographic management features, you would then export the screen citations to RefWorks or EndNote for writing up the manuscript. Mendeley is free and useful if you like to save citation data automatically while reading full text PDFs. It has a social networking component if you want to see what other readers who save that paper are also reading. Like RefWorks, it works with Google Docs, Zotero allows you to easily save snapshots of web pages, scrape metadata from Flickr, Amazon, and annotate the citations. 
I would not recommend the built-in reference functionality in Microsoft Word because you cannot import citations or share with others. RefWorks or Covenants can be found linked from the Himmelfarb Library website. Go to the All Databases A to Z list. Students can find EndNote online in the Web of Science database. School of Medicine faculty or staff should contact CAS. School of Public Health faculty should contact the Milken Institute School of Public Health IT. Mendeley and Zotero are freely available online. Bibliographic tools come with productivity downloads that plug in to Microsoft Word or Google Docs. Faculty and staff EndNote X9 users get the Cite While You Write plugin for Word as part of the licensed software download. Power users might also like to download the EndNote import filter that searches our Himmelfarb Library catalog records. For Covenants, there is nothing to download as it's all done online. Mendeley and Zotero both have desktop software downloads and plugins for browsers and Microsoft Word. There are different ways to save citations to a bibliographic tool. Databases each have their own way of either exporting citations or letting you batch them up and download as a file that can then be imported to a bibliographic tool. A common file type that can be saved is RIS format files, but there are others. Contact a librarian or read one of our Hemelfarb Library RefWorks guides for instructions on how to do this for each database. So for example, here is how you would save citations from a search in PubMed. Save them in PubMed file format, and it will download a file that can then be imported to RefWorks, EndNote, or Covenants. Mendeley uses a browser plugin that lets you save PubMed citations as a batch. Both RefWorks and EndNote also have the ability to search databases and save citations from within those bibliographic tools. Bibliographic tools are helpful when working on a literature review, and Covenants gets a mention here because while it is not strictly a bibliographic tool, it does help with screening candidate citations. Note the include or exclude buttons on the right of each citation on this screenshot. Because it does not have bibliographic writing functionality, once you've made your screening decisions, you would need to re-export your pre-screened citations to a bibliographic tool to file in a folder before you would start writing your manuscript. Alternatively, you could skip using Covenants and screen the title and abstracts of the candidate citations in your bibliographic tool and record your screening decisions on a spreadsheet. You can upload, download, and attach to citations the PDF full text journal articles in RefWorks, EndNote, and Mendeley, but some do this better than others. GWIT recommends saving copyrighted journal articles and other regulated data in a GW box folder. If you do decide to save PDFs separately from the citations, for example, in a GW box or Google Drive folder, it is important to rename each PDF file to make it easier to retrieve. Good practice would be to use some unique identifier, such as the PMID number from PubMed for each article. Most bibliographic tools will have some sort of plugin for Microsoft Word or Google Docs. <coughs> Here, for example, is RefWorks. And when writing your manuscript, you can select citations to insert and generate a bibliography and or change the citation output style when necessary. If you choose to use RefWorks, 
GW has subscriptions to an older classic version and new RefWorks. I recommend if you are starting out to use new RefWorks, which will shortly become the default. Existing users of RefWorks Classic can contact a librarian and we can help you migrate your citations to new RefWorks. It's a good idea to read one of our Hemelfarb library guides, watch training videos, read manuals, or take a course from a bibliographic tool website or through LinkedIn Learning. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session, or have questions specific to your own research, don't hesitate, don't hesitate to contact me at prlevet at gwu.edu. Thank you for taking the time to listen to an Introduction to Citation Organization for Beginners, a part of the Get Yourself Published Promote Your Research webinar series from the Himmelfarb Library. If you enjoyed this webinar, please join us for the final installment in our series Copyright for Authors, which will be released on Wednesday, May 20th, 2020 at 12 p.m. Please fill out our feedback survey by following the link on this slide or click the link in the description below.